Alright, so a few maybe seconds ago, um, you saw the Magna Power um, battery that I bought. Um, turns out it doesn't fit because you saw me measure it. It's fine. It's fine wide, wide, and it's fine length. But depth, it's stuck up too much and I couldn't put my seat back on. So I took that one back and went online to find a replacement for uh, the YTX 9BS um, and found a company that has unbelievable service. Um, so I bought pretty much the exact same battery. The website is um, in the description. It's batterystuff.com and they've got some of the best service in, in the country literally. Um, I ordered this battery on a Wednesday, and I got it, um, on Thursday. And I live in Ohio, and it shipped from Oregon State, so, and free shipping. And it's the cheapest battery I found. Um, this was 45 no, $54, as opposed to the 70 some dollar battery I bought at the big box store. Um, so it's a Scorpion brand and YTX 9 and it's the same size so we're in luck so put that in there and it looks like It comes with the baggie of nuts and screws. You have to unscrew the, the nut from the actual battery screw. And then the square nut goes actually inside the battery. So it goes in there. Alright, so I'm going to put these both in, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got both the battery screws in. Um, and I'm going to show you what a full battery should look like on a battery checker. So blacks to black. <clears throat> That's what a good battery should look like. All three and even this one lights up a little bit. So you know you have a full battery. And this was like 10 bucks at a local store. And it, it'll also test your alternator. Um, and if it lights up up here, it means your alternator is working right. <clears throat> so, put the covers back on, put your seat back on. And see if your motorcycle turns on. Just like that. Alright, so I'm going to put my seat back on, start the motorcycle up, and go from there. So I turned the motorcycle on, and this is what your alternator test should look like. All the lights are on, so that's good. So that is a good performing battery. Once again, I recommend those guys at batterystuff.com. So it looks like the bike is running again. So I will start making videos as soon as possible now. Um, thanks for watching this little series, guys. And I will talk to you later. 
All right, so lastly, you're going to need tags. Um, and every state's different. Uh, these expire on my birthday in next year, 2013. And Ohio charges $24 state fee, $10 tax, 350 deputy fee for a total of 37.50 for a one year tag. So all that's there. And I'll stick that on my license plate when I get home. So we'll install some batteries, put those on, and then we'll be good to go.